let's pray. Uh, thank you, Lord, for tonight. Um, Lord, for um, giving me that courage, but uh, come on now. <laughs> this is fun. I appreciate it, Lord, um, just to help share tonight, to uh, reach out um, in this country or the next. I, it, Lord, I, I love you. <laughs> And thank you for this uh, opportunity um, to do your work in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Hello, everyone. I'm a believer and follower of Jesus Christ who struggles but chooses to recover from impurity, including sexual immorality and pornography. I'm an overcomer from obesity, gluttony, being sexually abused by a male cousin, bipolar disorder, and my name is Frankie. <laughs> All right. Let praise be a weapon that silences the enemy. Let praise be a weapon that conquers all anxiety. Let it rise. Let praise arise. We praise you. The song by Brandon Lake. All right. So I was born and raised from the best parents, uh, Rosa and Tony, who are Italian Catholic. I have two beautiful sisters, Angie and Lori. Uh, Angie's 46 and Lori's 40. Uh, I, yeah, you never heard that. <laughs> They're 25 plus tax. And uh, brothers from another mother, woohoo! Um, when I was about seven years old, I dreamed about Jesus. I was in the desert and I finally found uh, a river of replenishing water. On the other side of the river, there was um, a rainforest. I saw Jesus in the river and he called me out to follow him. I accepted. Catholic kids, like I was, um, are baptized soon after birth, then receive First Communion in grade two, and in grade eight, confirmation. I was a high-achieving high scholar in an elementary school, and um, first semester, grade nine. Grades took a tumble because I was bullied by various people in high school. In grade 12, uh, second semester, I just turned 18, and I made my first adult decision. I changed high schools from Sacred Heart to Cardinal Carter. I succeeded in achieving my OSSD. Involved in a drunk driving car accident, June 27, 1995, two days after was my high school grad. I literally walked away from the wreckage without a scratch. My parents had to go to the hospital and miss my grad. Uh, sisters, my cousin Sarah, and friends of the family, Anna and Paul, accompanied me through my grad. Unfortunately, the drunk driver died, but the mighty hand of Father God sp uh, spared my parents and I. Funny fact, when I returned to working at Canada's Wonderland, the week after the accident, they gave me a written warning for not showing up for my shifts that week. It's like, okay, how about throwing a party for surviving a drunk driving car accident? Like, come on. <laughs> In Carter High, I met my friend Jarrett, and I received those seeds of the good news from him. Yes, the good news of God. I started to attend youth group with Jarrett and my sister Angie at St. Elizabeth, Elizabeth Seton Catholic Church. I experienced different youth uh, rallies, especially the one in Steubenville, Ohio. That's where I accepted Jesus Christ as my Lord and Savior, August 1995. I took up the International Hair Academy in April 1999 and graduated in January 2000. To date, I have been a celebrity barber for 25 years. <laughs> Thank you. 2005, I met my great friends, Justin and Rebecca, at Aurora Cornerstone Church. I'm not crying, I just got an itch. <laughs> um, uh, young adults group, yes, called Soul Food every Tuesday at 7.30 p.m. I rededicated my life to the Lord. Um, September 17th, 2006, I chose to take part in water baptism at Cornerstone. Um, my parents and sister Lori joined me. Um, by the end of 2006, early 2007, uh, Justin and Rebecca told me about New Market Community Church, now a live church. They joined after Soul Food disbanded. I needed a church to be rooted in, so I joined. So through the times of my old self, the insanity was uh, turning to comfort food whenever I gave into porn feeling exhausted and going through seasons of loneliness. The fast food and or junk food only made me feel better temporarily. As a result, the weight continued to pile on and out of control. I believe that comfort food is my escape and 
urge that I resort to when I'm experiencing any or all um, forms of the acrostic heart, um, which are hurting, exhausted, angry, resentful, and tense, including triggers. Um, my uh, relationship with God is prayerful, praise and worship, fellowship, reading the Bible, walking in the word, hearing Father God through scripture and on a daily basis. Furthermore, I tapped into my creativity with acrylic on canvas, mixed media, charcoal, plaster, and portable acrylic in a ministry called the Prophetic Arts. This is where the Holy Spirit speaks to me to share what scripture means to me through uh, nature scenes, landscapes, and abstract art, including what um, God has done in my life, a creative outlet into my testimony. Uh, yeah, I had a, um, a partner named Maria uh, for the Prophetic Arts, and um, it was in 2013. Um, yes, I fell in love with her, but uh, the feeling wasn't mutual. So I took offense, and my heart was broken. Uh, I wanted to leave the church, uh, but God had other plans. Um, listen to God, set my feelings aside, strength and courage to continue attending church, and began the prophetic arts ministry. We set up two easels in front of the worship band stage. We painted acrylic on canvas through the power of the Holy Spirit sharing our testimony and what scripture means to us. Painted once a month. Uh, through the worship set, we had 45 minutes to start and finish, or finish after the service. We organized two silent auctions to sell our artwork. We raised money for the young adults and our ministry. Um, this is what happens when you don't accept the bait of Satan. Forgiveness and renewed uh, relationships, including obedience to God, that leads to blessing and favor from God, not bitterness, or unforgiveness. I, uh, I met Christ Afari, a Christian reggae band, uh, in October 2013 with Justin through a men's ministry retreat, uh, Band of Brothers Boot Camp in Albany, New York. We helped uh, them sell their merchandise. We set up a rope to hang the shirts to sell because they were having them on the, on the tables. And it's like, okay, we can't see what you're selling here. Like, once you get a rope and just hang them up and you can see each one. And they sold a lot of shirts that day. Yeah, you're welcome, Christopher. Right? <laughs> so there was another event too that happened and we didn't like the option for paintball. So we chose to sh shoot guns in the makeshift outdoor shooting range, um, shooting targets on the trees. Yes, I was feeling lucky. No, but great experience. <laughs> in March 2015, I met Papa San. That's another um, um, uh, artist at, the, at a church in Toronto with Justin. Um, he's a Christian reggae singer with his band. Another great experience, too. Uh, one of the guitarists had a prophetic vision for me to keep going with uh, my prophetic arts uh, on my own. Um, and then I... I also have attended other uh, concerts, uh, Bethel Music with Brian and Katie Turlwaltz and Amanda Cook. Um, so that was in Toronto. And um, at the Air Canada Centre at the time, I guess, it was Franklin Graham Events, Newsboys in Vertical wor Worship. And in Barrie, there's a, a place up there, um, All Sons and Daughters with my former young adults group. So that was a lot of fun. Um, I guided painting with the kids with the help of a teacher at both Alive Church campuses, Barrie and Newmarket. I did several soup and dinner meals for the homeless, uh, haircuts and buzz cuts for the homeless and cancer foundations. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace. Numbers 6, 24 to 26. My attitude towards others is usually loving, warm, loyal, and caring. Uh, yet oftentimes when I wasn't myself giving into temptations and urges, living in denial, I felt frustrated, uh, angry and hopeless, out of control. The lowest point of my life, yes, my rock bottom. Passing out in my old house, February 2009. Having the ambulance take me into the hospital. I had to be admitted to the psychiatric unit at South Lake for a month. This was actually my third time being admitted. I, um, I trusted in the Lord wholeheartedly throughout my stay at the hospital. Back then, 
I learned to trust in the Lord and not lean on my own understanding. Proverbs 3, 5, and 6. The Lord healed me through and through during those terrible moments of my life. Um, but I did see joy in the other patients, doctors and nurses. In addition, I spoke with a lady from the hospital chapel, a pastor who gave me the Gideon's Bible, and a priest from the first church that I attended as a kid with my family, St. John's Chrysostom Catholic Church. My previous pastor from Alive Church, Pastor Andrew Wins, gave me a scripture, 2 Timothy 1.7, which I will go into later on. The verse totally armed me before I hit rock bottom. I also love the following scripture that shows God's protection. No weapon that is fashioned against you shall succeed, and you shall confute every tongue that rises against you in judgment. This is the heritage of the servants of the Lord, and their vindication from me declares the Lord. Isaiah 54, 17. This is so amazing because this happened so many times in my life, being falsely accused at different barbershops or salons, also knowing that I am part of the heritage of the servants of the Lord. Amen. Thanks be to Father God, who is always faithful. I started attending Celebrate Recovery at a live church. Later, my brother Peter guided me to Summit CR. Unfortunately, CR at the live church was discontinued because the leaders didn't partake in the CR step study. I currently enjoy attending Choose Recovery at Cedarview, where Monday night is the best night of the week. <laughs> my growing relationship with Jesus Christ has influenced my recovery by further understanding God's word, especially how God speaks to me through the word, applying what he says to me through the following scripture. For example, for God has not given us a spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of a sound mind, 2 Timothy 1.7. I am not afraid of the difficulty, adversity, or any illnesses that come my way. Um, I am an overcomer, a winner, and a champion of freedom. I was diagnosed with bipolar disorder at age 17 by doctors. My father, God, says, no, I have a sound mind. Amen. Amen. The Holy Spirit resurrection power heals me, and God is love, and he first loved me. Working the program helped me by focusing on the healing of my mind from terrible addictions by attending regularly at CR Monday nights and two-step studies that I completed. Because of the nature of my generosity towards others and how I put my clients first at work, I have spiritually focused on myself instead of everyone else, learning to put myself first and staying focused on healing. Um, continuing to channel my focus on breaking addictions and mending broken relationships. This, is, this has... Um, finally opened the door to clarity and freedom. The step that touched my heart in a special way is victory. Real positive change is possible. 2005, wrong friends, girlfriends, not rooted in a Bible-believing church, changed to Soul Food Young Adults Group at Aurora Cornerstone Church. Christian friends, regular church attendance, more so at Newmarket Community Church, family connections with faithful people sold out for Jesus. Repentance, learning to finally be free from sin. In the era of the new me, I experienced plenty of positive spiritual changes. Instead of being argumentative and negative with others, I chose to be assertive, positive, attentive, and understanding. The areas of my life that are gone, number one, pornography, and what leads after that. Number two, Big guy, Frankie, obesity and gluttony, done and done. Angry guy, number three, anger, bitterness, unforgiveness, and breaking stuff, done for good. I continue to work on the pornography area by keeping busy with outer circle activities, activities like artwork and swimming, uh, especially now that I'm single. But uh, yeah, I used to date this girl. Uh, it was just... It didn't work out. Her name's Simona. Uh, I still love her. I did forgive her. Uh, it was just, we're unequally yoked, and that's all I have to say about that. <laughs> and then, um, oh, yes, yeah. And currently, uh, I'm unemployed, but I was wrongfully terminated, but I'm working on that as well. Uh, thanks for everyone's support and prayers. Um, 
Oh, and there's probably some more here. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so you heard that song, I See You. It's one of my favorite songs. It's like, when he's healing me and, and he sees the tears, like, it's, it's amazing. Um, there's other songs that stand out for me as well. Stand in Faith by Danny Goki and Rise. That's very positive. Um, there's also The God I Know from Chris Tomlin. It's a fantastic song. Uh, gratitude and repraise you. What we praise you? I just said, said some things about that earlier uh, by Brandon Lake. Um, and not to, not to forget Christ Afari, Song of Hope, Heaven Come Down. That's a great song with Dominic Bally. And I like their songs like Hosanna and Ten Thousand Reasons and Our God. It's those guys are awesome. I saw them live in concert too. Like I said, so it's 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 fantastic. Um, so I will focus on the Word of God and prayer life and uh, new church and my new church attendance, New Life Christian Church in Woodbridge. Uh, I have taken necessary steps to conquer obesity and gluttony by un undergoing gastric sleeve surgery back in March 2022. I lost 126 pounds in 13 months. Yes, <laughs> thank you. Yeah, this actually got easier. Thanks. Uh, <laughs> forget about it. Oh, oh, I said it, sorry. <laughs> I guess I'm funny. I, I don't know. I can't help myself. I sought much uh, needed therapy for my anger issue back when I was 22 years old. My walk with God has uh, changed for the best. I make time in the morning to read the verse of the day story on Version daily. Uh, it's very good. Um, in addition, I follow through the guided prayer, which is great, and meditate with Father God, including my devotional plans. I used to be rooted in a live church, my former home church. I gave back to my community by spending rewarding time as a children's ministry teacher and a youth group mentor. Um, as I mentioned earlier, I am trying a new, out a new home church, new life. It's closer to my place, 10 minutes away. It's easy. I drew out my own acrostic that ties into my blessings. Um, the word is triumphant, but it's not like every other acrostic. I'll show you how I did it later if you want to see it. <laughs> so the words out of the triumphant uh, from, from the letter T. So I go, victory, overcomer, winner, Jesus, my salvation, my father, God, hope, love, faith, my Holy Spirit, action, new life in Christ, the blessings and favor. All right. And... I am a champion of freedom, yes. Standing tall, focused on Christ ahead of me, never worried about the difficulty to my right or having fear for the adversity to my left and never being concerned over the things in my past. So the encouragement that I can give a newcomer is to be open to share knowing that we aren't going to judge, only listen. Um, healing starts when you share your various circumstances. Keep coming back. <laughs> it's not only a suggestion, but a recommendation. Uh, join a step study. I have shared my hope with colleagues, clients, unsaved friends, and also strangers like homeless people. I continue to choose recovery, and my name is Frankie. <laughs>